First of all, it's a lovely sunny day this year rather than a, uh, a wet weather service. How did it go for you? Well, it's the first time I've done it. Uh, I've been in this job as head of the submarine service for a few months, so it's my first time. Um, I think it was cold. We've got some really old people, but their resilience to, to, to stand in the cold and the wind um, is, is inspirational, actually. I mean, these guys turn up year after year, uh, whatever the weather, uh, but the fact that it was sunny for them today is good news. Will you be back next year? I'll be back next year. It's part of the job. Uh, it's a bit of a party, as you can hear and see afterwards. Uh, a lot of people who haven't seen each other for a while uh, meet up here. I've seen at least three people who've reminded me that they served with me when I was very young in submarines. Uh, and we've all aged a bit since then, uh, but it's great to meet the same people that you served with 30 years ago. How many of the people do you recognise uh, from uh, other parts of submarine or Navy service, or even we have some people here from the RAF and the Army? Uh, we do. There's actually one RAF guy here who is an ex-submariner, which is a, a, a pretty rare mix. Um, but I mean, I've, I've, I've come back into this job as head of the submarine service, having not really served much around submarines for 10 or 15 years. Uh, so seeing some of the people that I remember from, from, from old days is really, really good news. Um, and, you know, and it's also a slightly sobering thing, not just because you realise how, you know, how you're all getting on a bit, uh, but also during that service they read out the names of all the submarines that we've lost in, in, in peace and war, mostly war, uh, over the, what, 110 years of the submarine service. Um, so as we were laying the reeds, they read out the names of the submarines that had been lost. There were 167 of them. Uh, this, is a, this, is a, 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 this is a dangerous sport for people to be doing. It's always been dangerous. Uh, and I think it's a reminder today of just how much, uh, uh, you know, just, just, just how much danger and that there is inherent in being a submariner uh, and how professional the guys have to be to, to just keep them safe in peace and in war. And there's people today, lots of people, some here today, who have joined up, have joined the Navy and are looking for a career in the submarine service. What do you say to people like that? Well, the submarine service is, is still a fantastic, uh, fantastic arm. I mean, I, on a daily basis, um, there's hardly a bit of the Navy that's, that's more in demand. Uh, the things they do, more what we can talk about, uh, but the things they do and the effect they have uh, goes right to the highest level of defence. Uh, the Prime Minister almost knows what our boats are doing on a daily basis. He's very interested in them because what they do is strategic. Uh, as a career, it's exciting to be part of that. We also, let's be bumped, pay better than the rest of the Navy. Uh, and so that sort of combination of, of, uh, of genuine effect on the country's behalf and actually a pretty good career in terms of, uh, of reward uh, it's a pretty good mix. So if I had my time again, I'd definitely still join. Have you got any message for the family and friends of submariners? Uh, well, those here today, uh, my message is come next year, it's really good. Uh, and for those currently serving, um, yeah, I know we're working you hard. Uh, we're trying to do what we can. The, the Navy could not be more focused uh, on just how hard we work our people and anything we can do to, you know, to try and improve the quality of people's lives uh, in, in the months ahead is something that we're really focused on. I haven't got any magic answers. I know that people are working hard, but we're really grateful and we're really aware of it. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Thanks.